In this episode of making an RPG in Minecraft, I'll be leveling up my server, quite literally. I added custom levels and a bunch of other progression features, so there's finally something to actually do. Oh, and before the video starts, I just want to let you guys know that beta tester applications are open. Also, to celebrate 1000 subscribers, I'm giving away 5 warrior ranks when the server ends up releasing. And it ends April 5th, so if you want a chance to win, join the Discord server down below. Alright, so the plan is to add levels. Now, it wouldn't be an RPG Devlog episode if I didn't wander off completely and start doing whatever I'd like instead of what the episode is supposed to be. So, before making levels, I'll actually be adding a feature called Milestones. Now, what are Milestones? Milestones are basically side quest achievement things. Yeah, that's about the best way to describe them. They add an interesting progression path to the game, but they aren't necessarily that complicated to complete. When playing the game, you shouldn't really focus on completing Milestones, instead, Milestones are a reward for actually playing the game. Kind of like levels, but with more areas to improve in and more specific requirements. Each milestone has a specific task you must complete in order to level up the milestone. Leveling up a milestone gives you various rewards and it ups the requirements to level up again. Again, kind of like levels and XP. Alright, so what kind of milestones will there be? Currently, there are four. Those are, in order, Mob Slayer, which requires you to kill mobs, Quest Explorer, which requires you to complete quests, Damage Maniac, which is level up by dealing damage, and Level Fanatic, which requires you to level up. Now obviously, these are just a few examples of what will be in the game in the future. So how do they work? Well, in-game, you aren't really notified about milestones until you actually complete one. There's no indicator that shows how far you are into a milestone, but that's most likely going to change in the future. When you complete a milestone, you get a fancy message in the chat, and when you reach a maximum level, you get this really cool rainbow text, which I'll get to a little bit later in the episode. On the code side though, milestones are actually pretty simple. There's basically a milestone manager, which contains all the custom milestones that exist. These milestones contain data such as the name of the milestone, the description, the menu item, max level, and so on. They also contain a listener, which listens to the required event that gives you points for the milestone. For example, there's a player kill game mode listener in the mob slayer milestone. And when you complete a milestone, it generates this pretty cool center text, which is just viewing from a previous project. Though, while I was testing it, I encountered an interesting huh? bug. One quirk of Minecraft's system is being able to color and stylize text. Now, this isn't really an issue for the center text, as style doesn't really change anything. Or so I thought. I forgot that bold text actually does change the text by one pixel for each character. This caused the center text to not be centered when containing bold text. Interestingly, the bold style also increases the size of spaces by one pixel. This was a pretty easy fix, but I thought I'd share it with you guys nonetheless because I found it pretty interesting. So, back to milestones. The menu for milestones was, how do I say it, interesting to make. It wasn't nearly as hard as it could have been, as I already had a menu system set up from episode 1, but I don't think I could recreate this ever again. But it's done, so it doesn't matter. Okay, so back to the game. Earlier, I showed you guys the milestone message, and it had this pretty cool rainbow text. This is something that me and Apex made, and we plan to use these kinds of text a lot because I feel like they bring a unique look while still having that Minecraft feel to them. The rainbow text is made using shaders, which I won't get into right now as to not lose even more viewers than I already have. The custom text doesn't stop there though. There are also other kinds of text such as this cool wavy one you can see in the chat message. Wait, hold up. What's that next to my name? Oh right, tags. So besides adding custom text, we also added tags to the game. Now you might have seen these kinds of tags in other servers as they've pretty much blown up in recent months, and we decided to jump on the bandwagon. One problem with these tags though is that unlike text tags, each tag must be its own texture. This is very inconvenient for tags that have lots of different textures such as the level tag. So to overcome that issue, we decided to create a system that automatically generates these tags. This is how it works. First, we give the system a certain text. All the text has to be in the small format as any larger text wouldn't fit. Then we'll calculate the length of the text in pixels. And we use these tag templates to create a background. Then, we create this negative space which just forces all the text to go back a few pixels and the overlay above the background. And then, we finally add the text we requested. Here's a showcase of how that looks. So basically, tags can be divided into two sections, rank tags and cosmetic tags. Rank tags are tags that represent your rank. Everybody has these tags. They show up in the tab and when you talk in chat. Whereas cosmetic tags are unlocked by doing certain things in the game and are displayed only in chat next to the rank tags. One last feature we made using the tags is updating the lobby so your level is displayed next to your profile. Here you can see how this looks and personally what I found the most cool about this is that the tag turns green just like the name and the glow. 
This brings a nice segue to the next features. Levels. Levels, like milestones, also add progression to the game. Unlike milestones though, you gain levels by doing a combination of different tasks such as killing mobs, exploring new areas and so on. Levels are also more prominent in the game, as most of the features in the game will be level locked. I don't have much to say about levels, as they're a pretty simple concept, but I can show you how leveling up looks. Now, when it comes to the amount of XP required to level up, it grows exponentially. Although these numbers will change in the future when we do more balancing. Now, there are several ways to gain XP. First would be killing mobs and completing quests, which give a certain amount of XP every time. Also, all mobs have a small chance to drop these things called XP chunks. XP chunks basically give you a percent of your XP needed to level up. Completing milestones also gives you XP, except for the level milestone as that wouldn't really make much sense. These are definitely not final, and we'll be adding more ways to gain XP for you down the line. To make them a bit balanced though, we must add an XP sharing system. This divides the amount of XP you get from killing mobs based on the amount of damage that you did. For example, if you deal more than 85% of the total damage dealt to a mob, you get all the XP, while the other players don't get anything. If you deal less than 85% of the total damage dealt to a mob, the XP is split evenly amongst every person who dealt damage, based on their percentage dealt. As for XP chunks, these can only be dropped when you deal more than 95% of the total damage. Do note that the damage dealt is lost if you don't deal damage to that mob in a certain time period, which in this case is 1.5 minutes. Okay, so it's time to do some bug fixing. Now, there are always going to be bugs in a project, no matter what project it is, and this is no exception. One particular issue that I didn't manage to find in the previous episodes was the inventory saving. Unfortunately, I can only blame myself because I did what I do best and the code for saving inventories was from an old project. Yes, I know, I yoinked old code and it came to bite me back. But it's fixed now. Oh yeah, and now there's a credits menu. This menu shows all the people that have helped and contributed. Currently, it's only me and Aplets, but this is actually going to change pretty soon. Builder applications will be opening pretty soon, so you should join the Discord server down below and look for announcements if you like to apply. Okay, so currently, levels and milestones don't give you any rewards, and it's unfortunately going to have to stay like that in this episode. But, in a future upcoming episode, we'll be adding a bunch of cosmetics, such as the tags we added today, so you should subscribe so you don't miss that. This is unfortunately where I have to end things off for today's episode, so thanks for watching, and have a great day.